Servus, Männer, it's Red Pill Germany again. Just now I read an article uh, that said that the German government is now planning to burn around 800 million medical face masks. Among them are around 60 million FFP2 masks and 730 million surgical masks. I made many videos about this topic, how they were acquired in 2020 and where the government just basically gave carte blanche to anybody who promised to procure these masks somewhere on the international markets and they paid ridiculous prices and they wanted just to get as many as they can, as fast as they can, no questions asked, no checks and balances. It was basically the wild west here in Germany and many politicians and family members of politicians who knew exactly what the rules were and what the deal is made millions overnight by just making two or three phone calls. This was all happening under the previous health secretary Mr. Jens Spahn of course. I covered this extensively and you can check out my old videos on this topic if you like. And now, well, I told you that uh, not too long ago they already had to destroy a lot of this uh, pharmaceutical product for injection uh, because it reached its, its expiration date and nobody wanted to get the shot. Or let's say not many people are making this decision anymore at this time in this year and that is why they have to get rid of all that junk or they try to sell it to Africa or something. But now with these masks 800 million pieces and if you think that maybe one euro per mask and maybe it was four euros I don't know but that's round about a billion euros that they just burn now and we don't know how much else they will burn in the future how much there is still. I'm just holding a... Um, bag of these uh, FFP2 masks uh, in front of me. Um, I picked them up at work. I don't have to pay for them, fortunately. And you still need them here and there. I mean, you still need them on long distance uh, trains or something. You Until recently, you needed them on airplanes. And uh, there are some places that still require them. And I think they decided you will need them again in doctor's offices and in, in hospitals uh, now from October. So it's always good to have some of them ready in case you really need them, in case you have to go to the hospital. But what I should tell you is um, the worst thing of course is if you have to buy them in um, a supermarket or something because they cost money of course and people who take the train let's say they don't have a lot of money so what they do is they reuse one they just put it up because it's the law but they don't buy a new mask every day of course and um, when you have them in your pocket or something there is a lot of friction and these masks are made from some tissue some fiber and then coated with plastic with some plastic layer and uh, that rubs off and it creates of course fibers of microplastic and this can be now a real hazard to your lungs it goes down into the lowest parts of the lungs the small particles the larger fibers and particles they stay in the top and mid section uh, it's definitely not healthy to reuse them and especially if there was friction involved some mechanical stress on them that rubs off particles that is really really bad and this is what's happening to poor people or people who think they don't want to spend the money on that um, yeah and now you see our government is just burning 800 millions of them and they were sitting on this huge stash for two years basically and instead of you know distributing them among the population when they were the ones who are enforcing these rules so they are forcing the people to wear them if they want to take a train or go to the hospital and then they let 800 millions of them expire that the people themselves have already paid for this is so evil this is basically theft they're stealing people's money here and yeah what I can see on the packet right in front of me is and I never really thought about that in case of the masks but they do have an expiration date and mine were made here in the I think in December 2020 and they do indeed expire according to what's written on uh, this little bag here they expire in December this year 2022 so yeah not only pharmaceuticals have this expiration date no also these masks do have an expiration date which is kind of ridiculous when you think that it's just five 
fiber and some plastic. Sure, plastic degrades with time, but not in two years. I mean, that seems rather short, but maybe that's part of the business model that these companies have. And maybe they even um, talked about that and uh, they um, cleared that with the government that they made a deal that the expiration date would be two years. Who knows? So just for your reference, this has not come under criticism just now. Already back then, the Bundesrechnungshof, for example, criticized the government that they are spending too much on these masks and that they're buying too many and they don't really uh, negotiate proper conditions. They just buy whatever they can get. No price was high enough. They just wanted to get masks fast. And I also should remind you that just month before that, they donated our emergency stash in Germany that we still had to China. Exactly, China that is making all these masks now, making a lot of money together with our dear politicians in the process. And of course, these mask deals are completely unrelated to the fact that um, Jens Spahn and his brave and stunning husband bought a uh, villa in Berlin priced around about 4 million euros. Yeah, that's completely unrelated. No, seriously, it is unrelated because the local credit union gave him really great conditions that, to my knowledge at least, nobody else gets because he is connected to them from his... Uh, previous gig there and he still knows a lot of party comrades from the CDU who are currently at this credit union. Really great. So it is actually unrelated to that. That is really shocking, isn't it? So I know the topic of masks and these things for many of you out there who live in other countries, this is like a, a distant memory and you wonder probably why people in Germany are still talking about that. Well, because we're still required to wear them, as I said, in many situations. And just today, again, at the post office, I was reprimanded by the lady behind the counter that um, the China bug is still going around and I should be more careful and not step too close and keep behind the cover and so that just goes to show that the normies are still indoctrinated. They still fear um, a flu, basically, or a flu-like a disease. They're still um, kept under constant fear now. Uh, multiple crises stack on top of each other. Now the mainstream media and the uh, political uh, media university complex, however you want to call it, the elites, they make sure that the normies don't forget about this and uh, they cannot relax even for a second. They think about cold homes, no food, blackouts, and on top of that, viruses. You can never catch a break as a German normie. So ignorance isn't really bliss anymore in that sense. Uh, ignorance now also means a lot of fear, actually. And just as a little joke towards the end, many commenters said that, well, 800 million masks, uh, that should probably create a lot of heat and maybe we shouldn't burn them right now in autumn. Maybe we should wait until January or February, the coldest month, and we should then burn them because then at least we can use the heat that they produce uh, in the process and maybe we can use these Chinese FFP2 masks as a little heat source in the cold winter. That is, of course, gallows humor, but, well, better than no humor at all, I think. But in my opinion, personally, I have to say the biggest scandal or the worst part about this is that you force people to wear them. Uh, you let them buy these things for a lot of money. They still cost a lot of money in the supermarket. It's at least one euro per piece. And you should wear them every day. And then you sit on 800 million of them and you say, oopsie, expired. We gotta, we gotta burn them now and buy new ones from China. Wink, wink. And of course, I should add that before this whole craziness broke out here over two years ago, um, you needed, if you needed to wear them for work, I think you needed to get a medical exam where a doctor needed to check you and to conclude that it is safe for you to wear them, that you can wear them for like one or two hours, not more than that, of course, and then you need a break and um, you can safely wear them for one or two hours. That required a uh, in-depth medical exam and now they just force people to wear them for eight hours or 10 or 12 hours. 
depends on your work and your situation it's absolutely insane and they of course want to start this in winter again maybe we don't see it this year because other things came in the way but uh, our politicians some of them are still working on that because it is a lot of money that they can make anyway that's um, some news from Germany, uh, maybe not as important as other stories, but I just want to follow up on these things that I started talking about in the last two years. Um, let me know what you think about that. And um, in case your country still has some involvement here and is still toying around with the idea to bring them back because your politicians make a lot of money with it, let me know in the comments down below. But my impression is really that in most countries, this is no longer an issue and nobody seriously talks about this anymore in any case let me know in the comments down below servus kameraden